Hi, I'm Taylor Haas. This is Danny Shirey. We are coming to you from Buffalo, where the Penguins just played their lone game of the Prospects Challenge. It was a 6-4 win over the Bruins Prospects, and just a really entertaining game. Danny, who was one of the who was one of too. Yeah, I mean, that's that's about as entertaining as a, as a Prospects Challenge game could get. As we've reported over the first two days of camp, the standouts from this game was the top line of Sam Poulin, who picked up a goal and an assist, Philip Hollander, who found the back of the net twice, and Valtteri Pustinen, who picked up a power play goal on a one-timer. All three of those players really were just in sync the entire game. They knew where each other where the, each other were at when they were on the ice. Lots of little touch passes and slip days to break down the defense. And, and really, they, they were in sync the entire night. And on top of that, Nathan Legere might not have uh, gotten on the score sheet as much in terms of goals or assists, but he definitely did enough to get under the skin of the prospects on the Bruins to the point where they took multiple cheap shots and sucker punches at him while he was out on the ice. Um, it, it ended up giving the Penguins several power plays on which they scored on, and then later A, toward the end of the game, got the Penguins' final goal to get a little bit of revenge on those guys. Another really good uh, thing to take away from this game, Philip Lindbergh, this was his first game-like action in 10 months since his ankle injury in November. Um, near perfect game from him, he stopped 16 of 17 shots. JD Force, he did say if anyone played anything close to a, a perfect game out of all the prospects, it was Lindbergh. The lone goal he did let in, it came off of a deflection, not a whole lot he could have done there. but. Um, just great to see that you know he didn't really need that much time to get you know acclimated like the timing to, to get in after you know so long away uh, from the game. So just uh, really really good to see from him. Yeah, and, and look at the end of the day, this is just a lone game and a prospects challenge. But it's still nice to start the season off, whether it, it is your prospects or an ex exhibition or tournament game, whatever it may be. It's always good to start the season off with a win, and it was really good to see you know. Not to, not to punches here, the Penguins don't have a great prospect pool, so the fact that they came out here and especially early on dominated the Bruins prospects, really, I, I think it, it can give them a bit of a boost and, and some mojo heading back to Pittsburgh for the rest of camp. And on top of that, I mean, a after the game, we were standing right outside the locker room and we, we saw Mike Sullivan wander in there. And as soon, right as the door was closed, and we heard him, oh, let's go. So I'm, I'm sure it meant the world to all those prospects that were in there to have the NHL head coach come in there and, and hype them up a little bit. Absolutely. As you said, the Penguins, uh, they do have two more days left of rookie camp. Uh, they have a day off on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, two 9.45 a.m. practices. We'll have your coverage from this game and the rest of camp over at DK Pittsburgh Sports, so stay tuned for that. 